Okay, so now I'm going to work on the axle of this Dana 44. Going to get this U joint uh, replaced. This is the short side. You can see it's just it's easier to show you uh, to, on this axle than it is the longer one. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, very first thing I did here, I actually put some marks. I ground little notches on this axle so when I put it back together it goes back together exactly the same way that it come apart um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this uh, with blaster in here because there are c-clips I know it's hard to see because everything's rusty but there's c-clips that hold this joint inside okay this is what they are right here. They're C-clips and they're in there like this and they hold that joint on. So I got to get some blaster in there to uh, loosen them up. They're usually pretty uh, pretty stiff and cruddy in there. And there's one in every joint. So all there's, there's four clips in there. So I, that's the first thing. If you don't get those clips out, you're never going to get these joints out. So. I'm going to get this thing in the vise and then I'm going to start fighting with it trying to get it uh, disassembled. So these clips are usually pretty fun to get out especially when they're really old like this. You got to pretty much get in there and force them out. Some blaster on there, get it working. Well, that one just broke off. So now I gotta work the other side. You can see how bad this joint is. I mean, there's actually, there's a broken cup. One of the cups is actually broken, so. And that's what you're after.
Okay, so if you aren't having fun with those clips, you're about to have lots of fun with these joints. Got all my clips out. I'm going to use this, uh, they call it, I guess, a ball joint press. But it's really for universal joints and ball joints. And I'm going to get, I'm going to press this joint out first because it's got a broken cup. It's not really looking good here. This I might really struggle with this one. I didn't I didn't know this one was broken, but I'm going to try to get that one out first. We'll see how that works out. Got to make sure my tool here isn't blocking the cup from coming out because then it's never going to come out. If you got your tool in the way, that's kind of hard to get this thing positioned. But we'll give her a try like that. I'm going to use my air, the half inch impact. I would normally use my Dewalt. But dad has that right now so this is what we're going to work with uh, first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use a little bit of heat i got this little torch i'm going to use a little heat heat these up just to help the process these these joints usually fight pretty good so the heat it's just going to help uh, you don't have to use heat but i think it, it really really helps the, everything work better so Let's get this thing out. a little bit just trying to get some blaster in there trying to loosen everything up Like I said, this is a real fight usually.
that's how it usually goes. It usually pops and screams. You can see that's broken. That's why that probably was a little harder than it should have been. But now we gotta push, <clears throat> gotta push the other one back through here. I pushed it too far out. I don't, I don't like pulling pushing it out that far because now it's not. It's not really where I want it to be, but hopefully we'll get her to go here. Without wrecking anything. I need to be on this side. But I don't want to block the camera. coming out real nice. And that's it, there's your other joint. You can take your joint, comes out like so. You can take this part of the axle out, we'll go, I'll go clean this up. Now I gotta get this side off. And I'm putting this I'm putting this in the vise, but I'm not putting it on the splines and I'm not putting it on the bearing spot or anything. Just so you know that. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did with the other joint. These joints look to be original, they're original spicers, non-greasable. Trying to find that sweet spot so that cup goes into that hole is really the hardest part here.
little too far again. Like I said, I don't like... I like it when this joint here comes out a little stiff, that cup. Because then I don't have to... I don't have to worry about getting this thing, getting that cup in straight. Like I have to now because it fell out. And using heat, everything's hot. See, it's crooked in there now. See, this is a stubborn, this is a stubborn one. Always the last one that's got to be stubborn. This thing doesn't quite sit flat on there too, which is probably what's happening. It's probably pushing it crooked. Take your time. You see how that heat really helped. There you go. All of them are out. Okay, so I got my axle all cleaned up. Just taking some emery, real fine emery. And I'm just cleaning up the edges. And a little bit of the joint. 
just to make sure there's no burrs or something that's going to catch the joint. Cause me some problems. Okay, I got the new joint here. It's actually, it's a Moog. It's uh, non-greasable, just like the Spicer one that I took out. Um, supposed to be like heavy, heavy duty. Supposed to be a really good joint. So that's why I got it here. Um, you gotta pull the the cups off to get this joint to go on and you gotta make sure you don't pull your your needle bearings make sure they're in there so you're gonna put your joint inside like I'm not even going to need a not even going to need the press and probably squish it in with the vise Probably working out that way because this this is still warm from uh, pressing them out. So that's probably why it's why I can do this. So it looks like I'm going to need the, the press for this joint. So Probably don't need Probably don't need an impact uh, to do that because it's going on real easy. We're getting grease pressed out on the deal.
All right, so that side's in. I think this side needs just a little bit. Needs a little bit more to get that clip on there. I think that's going to do her. Give them clips a little tap. Just make sure they're nice and seated. But it looks good. Looks good, my joint feels good. Everything's looking good here. Actually, you might want to take these cups off while you're messing with this, guys. So you don't accidentally lose one of your cups and all your needle bearings. I should have took that off. Should have took these off when I Let's fiddling around with it. Okay, so we're about to put the axle back together. Small end on the bigger end. Well, there we go. can almost do that by hand. Snapper ain't quite snapping in there. There it goes. Got the snap rings in there.
Give them a little, little love tap. Make sure they are. Make sure they're nice and snapped in there. Feels good. Actually, can it's a little stiff. A little stiff there. So uh, see here, it's stiff. Stiff on that one. Give it a little bit of a tap here. Kind of like that. Now it's perfect. What I did there is I stuck it in the vise and I tapped on the yoke just to, to back up the, the joint a little bit. And now where it was a little stiff, perfect now. So that's it guys, that's a U-joint on one of these axles, Dana 44, GM 10 bolt, should be the same. I feel like this job is more about finesse than brute force. Uh, you can take this joint to a 50 ton press and just, you know, just press them out, you know, by brute force, like I said. And, um, like I said, I feel like finesse is better. Uh, to work these out nice and slow use some heat that way you don't run the risk of bending your ears when when the joint fits like that and it feels good and it's not super tight that usually means you haven't bent your ears all up and they're not pushed in or, or whatever and um, yeah it usually means you did a better job or it means someone else before you uh, didn't bend it these, uh, this is Spicer, I believe them are original to the truck. Nobody has done the U-joints on this axle, I don't believe. Okay, so I know in the video I kept calling the, the cups uh, the joint. I think you guys know what I meant. Uh, the cups are actually part of the joint, so technically it is the joint, but... Hopefully it doesn't annoy uh, too many people. When I get to uh, really concentrate, and sometimes I say things uh, the wrong way. But like I said, there it is guys, there's the job. I got to do the long one now. And uh, I'll have uh, new, new joints in my axles. They'll be ready to slide in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see ya.